Yo, what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome to the channel. And today I'm doing a follow-up video to my previous video that I'd done regarding an issue to do with my 65 inch LG C10 OLED, where when I was connecting an external, say, uh, device such as a Skybox or a games console, that, um, I would get a no signal image come up on the TV. Basically, that nothing would be displayed on the TV itself, no matter what cable I was using, what external device I was using, or no matter what input I was using on the TV. It would just not display any, any image whatsoever. Now, I do have some good news and some bad news about this issue. Now, first off, I just want to say a massive thanks to everyone out there who has uh, been involved in the comment section in the previous video. There's been loads of suggestions on what it could be and potential solutions for it. So a massive thanks to you guys. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I set up this channel. It's great that we've got this good community going on where, you know, we can all band together and hopefully come up with solutions to uh, problems such as this. So let's start off with the bad news then. And it would seem that it is just not my own TV that is affected. It's also affecting a lot of you guys out there as well. And not just the 2020 model TVs. It would seem that there is older models that are also experiencing this same problem, which is a bit of a nightmare because I know there is a, a few people who have actually contacted me who have said that they've actually returned their TV to the store and got a full refund because of this very issue. Moving on now to the good news, and that is that there is a potential workaround stroke fix for this issue. Now, just quickly before I actually show you how to do that, I just want to point out that a lot of people said to me in my previous video, which by the way, I'll put a link in the description and hopefully I'll put a link up there to it as well. Um, that if I turn the TV on and off, or should I say off then back on again, that should solve the issue, or turning off my external device and back on again, or doing a reset of the TV should solve the problem. But unfortunately, I had this issue uh, on multiple occasions and that doesn't always work. There was a couple of times by turning the TV off and back on again, it solved the issue, but there was another instance where my partner and I fiddled around with the TV, we'd done absolutely everything, unplugged it in and out, turned it on, off, box on, off, all that sort of stuff, and it just wouldn't work. We had to leave it turned off overnight before it would work again. And obviously, it's not an ideal thing to be doing anyway, that you've got to keep turning your TV on, off, or unplugging it, or leaving it overnight to uh, get it to display a image. Now, for this potential workaround, what you're going to want to do is grab your remote control and uh, do a long press on the settings button. And once you have done that, you're going to want to go down to general. And once you're in general, go down to additional settings. And once you're in additional settings, you're going to want to go to quick start plus. Now, out of the box, mine was turned on and I'm guessing that is the same for uh, most of you guys as well, hence why you are getting this issue. But it would seem that if you turn a quick start plus off, then that will uh, stop your TV displaying no signal when sometimes you turn it on and you're trying to uh, put something on the TV from an external device. So hopefully this will work. Now I've been running this now for a few days and uh, fingers crossed, you know, it continue to do this because it has not played up once since. So uh, a massive thanks to everyone out there who came forward in the comments section suggesting this workaround. I know I did say I'd mention a few names, but to be honest, I can't find uh, your posts now. So I'm just gonna say thanks to everyone who came forward with that potential workaround. Now, as I said, it is great to have all you guys on board as it's a great community that we have got going here at the moment. And I'd like to keep it going this way. I'm banning off all the people who are being dicks really, do you know what I mean? And uh, keeping all you guys on there who are actually putting into this channel by, you know, participating in the comment section and coming forward with all your ideas of uh, workarounds and things like that. And I'd love to hear your feedback on this potential fix, you know, 
implement it on your TV and uh, get back to me. Let me know, has it worked for you, you know? And then we can, uh, as a whole, should we say, go to LG and all sort of uh, register our complaint with them about this problem and get them to roll out a proper fix for it so we haven't got to be switching things on and off to uh, get it to be working as it should out the box. Well, there you have it then, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video today, and if you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, then think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. And don't forget to hit that bell icon, because otherwise you will not be notified of my latest uploads. So, thanks very much for joining me today, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on next one. Bye for now.